to begin by uh, recounting an incident that occurred earlier today that some of you uh, may have heard, but has been broadcast uh, fairly widely in the media. So I want you to know that uh, this morning in the vicinity of about 10.30, I had a call from uh, our high school principal, Peter Varela, uh, and Peter indicated to me that there was an incident in the classroom uh, that ultimately involved three students uh, fainting. Uh, one student fainted and then two others uh, also uh, got lightheaded and, and fainted. Uh, seven other students later uh, indicated that Turner's mind felt queasy. Uh, all of those students were, uh, were attended to medically. Uh, but the issue, of course, is one in which you would have no idea what might have happened, uh, uh, not only as a high school principal, but as a superintendent receiving that call. Uh, the teacher did exactly the right thing, and that was that uh, she called for assistance. Uh, assistance was, was rendered, and uh, there were adults that went directly to the room to help. Uh, we pulled the fire alarm, we as a pejorative term, pulled by Peter, and uh, the fire company responded, as well as an ambulance. The EMT was helpful, as well as the nurses, in uh, assessing the youngsters. The fire department, um, there were many pieces of apparatus we were able to do, they were already testing the room. Uh, I'm happy to report that there were no environmental hazards in the room. Uh, CO2 levels were where they should have been, there was nothing detected that would have been a threat or a danger to, to any of the students who were present. So it begs the question, what, what was going on? And a curricular lesson, an appropriate lesson to our curriculum was being taught. Uh, part of that lesson dealt with blood, blood transfusions, blood diseases, HIV, and uh, a number of less than uh, Stomach, uh, no, they, I, let me back up. They were probably stomach rending type of uh, uh, topics that would cause some people maybe to, uh, to be upset and to uh, internalize, if you will, some ill feelings. And evidently that's what happened. Uh, one of the EMTs was quick to say that it's not unusual that when somebody faints, other people uh, like-minded may also follow into uh, uh, that loss of, uh, momentary loss of consciousness. So uh, we did have that, we're happy to report that uh, nobody's worse for wear. Uh, I'm told that uh, everybody was able to either go back to class, uh, students were outside for about 30 minutes, they were either able to go back to class, some uh, students who were involved went home. But I did want to address that uh, right out of the gate here tonight so that there was no question uh, if you hear that uh, on the news, or if Charlie Kim writes about it uh, after uh, after our meeting, you'll know exactly uh, what happened and uh, what we did as a result of it. Obviously, uh, any kind of situation like that is a test of our preparedness, if you will, and uh, I believe that the high school handled that very appropriately. Get everybody out of the building until you can ascertain that the environment is free from any kind of issues that could be harmful. So um, I thank you for that, Peter, and uh, I appreciate the fact that all of our students are uh, okay. <laughs>